Hi guys, my name's Isaac Ruiz, and this is... Sarah. Alexis! We have an awesome game in store for you. I love any game where my sister gets either hurt or smacked. So today we got a game called Smack... Or Truth. Smack or Facts. Or Facts. Smack or Cierto. I don't know Spanish well, so I'm trying to go with other... What are they called? Synonyms? Yes. Synonyms of Facts. Here's a fact of the day. Alexis didn't shower and she's borrowing my deodorant. That's Ooh. a fact. No, it's not. It is. It is a fact. It's All right. It's a lie. It's really gross. Ew, okay. that's no, disgusting. it's not. All right, guys. Well, they're going to start right now. So pretty much it's like a best friend challenge. They're best friends uh, in theory. <laughs> we made them best friends for today. So they know nothing about each other. No, but they're going to ask each other stuff about themselves. Sarah has to see if Alexis is saying something truthful. Or it's a lie. Oh my God, I can't speak English. And then Sarah <laughs> is also gonna say a fact about herself or it could be a lie. And if any of them get it wrong, they have to smack each other, okay? So let's get a clean fight, okay? I Alexis, your... I know you play dirty. Can I see your work? Show the camera. Good. All right, guys, good That's luck. Good. Thank wow. you. Oh my God, that was uh, good. good. That was scary. Okay, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> here we go. So Kayla is going to be bringing um, items at random that are delicious. Shop with. So go ahead and Kayla, bring the first item! Yeah. What is the first item? Sarah, you get strawberry yogurt and you get strawberry jam! Yay! I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, okay, you go first. Okay, heads or tail? tails? Tails. <laughs> okay. I went horseback riding when I was 12. Dang it! Lie! <laughs> yes! Yay! Okay, go. <laughs> My favorite candy is Reese's chocolates. Ooh, I don't know. I'm gonna say truth. Yes! <laughs> We're definitely best friends. Okay, we need to spice this up a little more. Okay, go. <laughs> We're gonna get every answer okay. right. I okay, once go. sprained my pinky toe while jumping off the bed, and I accidentally hit Isaac's head while I was doing it. I sprained my pinky toe okay. on Isaac's head. You sprained your pinky toe on Isaac's head while jumping off the bed. Dang. Because we used to play games like that. Okay. Um. I'm gonna say. And he was about five years old. But you're a good actor. No, I'm not. Actress. No. Yeah, you are. So you're good at lying. No, so I'm gonna no, say. I suck. I'm a truth Wait, talk. I'm gonna say that's the truth because it sounds too funny. <laughs> Is it's, it true? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, hold on. Wait, can you do it right here? Yeah. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Ah! Oh! <laughs> this. You only got one. Sorry. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that would have been good though. When I was six years old. <laughs> My pinky now, <laughs> this one right here, yes. fell completely off. False, you're lying. Ah! Ah! Oh, tell me the truth! No! Ah! I'm gonna get it all over my hand. Hold on, let me get it all over my hand. <laughs> Alexis, come close to me, my dear. And wham! Bam! It's very good for your skin if you just <laughs> pull it with it every night. We should probably take this off our face, right? So we don't get freaking like... No, we're not going to take it off our face. We're going to leave it on. I think we need to smack each other harder just to make it more Okay, let's do it. Yeah, smack each other harder, guys. Fine. Hey, thanks, uh, It's because we're best friends. Yeah. Whatever. All right, go ahead. No, it's your turn. Dang, that really tastes good. No, that's good. your turn. Alexa, Sorry, I'm eating it. <laughs> I was like, should I lick it? Yes or no? Lick it! <laughs> That's cheating! No, that. Okay. okay, I was in a hip hop class and I was the best in the class. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say you were in a hip hop hip hop class. Man, I was the I, best in the class. I, I, I remember you telling me this, and you said you're the best in the class. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I'm gonna say yes. No, I was, but I wasn't. No, 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 no. <laughs>
Can I get a mirror? I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Okay, 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 okay. I prefer <laughs> to eat chocolates over chips any day. Lie. <laughs> I was right. No! What? I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah I was right. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was bullied all of elementary school and I beat up my bully and he never messed with me again. Oh my god, you have very intricate lies. Like half of them are truth and then like the other half is a lie. Like I don't know. Because I know you're bullied for sure. I was bullied. I know that you can beat someone up. Yes, I can. But I don't know if you legit. <laughs> I still see like flowers. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna say that is the truth. Yes! Yay! 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 Okay, go. No, it's your turn. Okay. I... I see Isaac making fun of us on the side. He's gonna get punched. Okay, let's get personal. My shoe size is an eight and a half. True. False, it's an eight! No! That was my hair, Sarah! Ew, and it went inside my shirt! <laughs> Uh, it, it went down my pants. pants. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is my best friend, Steve. I don't want to be here. <laughs> so, what are we doing? I already explained it, Steven. If you, you were paying attention, you would know. I was. I already said I don't want to be here. That's my best friend, y'all. Yep. Um, I got told about this last night. Um, <laughs> He's I such a liar. Wore He's a, a liar. Really expensive pair of shoes, and I'm glad I didn't because. By expensive pair of shoes, it's the Skechers I bought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the Airwalks I got from Bayless. <laughs> if you have Airwalks, that's no shame on you. I wore Airwalks almost yeah, all my life. Yeah, I used to crush them. All also, right. Healy, sir. And Healy. so did Pastor Elliot Mendoza. He wore them. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to do uh, truth. No, facts or smack. Yeah. So. Yeah. Smack. Or facts. Okay, I'm going first. I won at my school spelling bee because the smartest kid couldn't spell a tough word I didn't even know. And his name was Matthew. That's a fact. That's a fact? Yeah. It's a lie. I'm just kidding. No, it is a fact. <laughs> his face! I, I'm his not. face! Go, go, Steven. I was raised on a farm. Is that it? <laughs> Mine are very easy. I was raised on a farm. I feel like Becca was your wife, but not you. It's true. That I was raised on a farm, it's a truth? Yeah. Wrong. I was raised near farmland, but I had a wonderful house. Illinois there. is practically one big farm. You're not wrong, but you <laughs> are wrong. All right. Go, go. Look me in the eyes! <laughs> he actually smacked me! <laughs> that kind of stung. Here. Yeah. Which mayo? camera? Yeah. What kind of mayo? Was it Hellman's best? Give me camera it's one! Smart value garbage. Smart value garbage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Steven. Before you, I had a better best friend who knew me and was better than you in every level, but I broke his arm. <laughs> um, false, man. No one's, no one's better than me. It's true. <laughs> what the? He wasn't better than Steven, but I definitely broke his arm. I pushed him off of a ledge. I was, let me, let me, let me just clarify here. I was like six years old, okay? That's not old enough to make a wise decision. Ooh. Oh, no, you have to use. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Wrong hand, Papa! <laughs> All right. Just don't. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> you see it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> ah! I'm angry! Let's go! Did you smack yourself? Yeah, because I'm your best friend. I'm going to do it. All right. In the state of Illinois, I have oh, a conceal and carry permit. Yes, you did. False. No! <laughs> my mom does. <laughs> the snub nose. Wait, is that mayonnaise? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. 38 snub I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw bless, up. God bless you. Can you, do, can you do a little bit, please? Because I will throw up. Yeah. Thank you. You can hear the smack. Pa! The smack that smiles back. Pa! Goldfish. <laughs> it smells disgusting. Yeah. Can I wipe my face? Oh. Mm. I'm that, sensitive that, to smell. That made it. That made it worse. Okay. I ran the wrong way, 
on my Pee Wee football team and scored for the other team. True. That's definitely a lie. Oh, snap. <laughs> what <laughs> is, <laughs> what is this? It's like putting oh, your mayo. Hold on, just one flour. second. Hold on, one second. Yogurt. There you go. Putting mustard mayo flour yogurt. Here you go, ready? <laughs> oh, it smells so bad! It smells so bad! <laughs> <laughs> it's in my mouth! Oh no! Someone get him a trap! No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> that was rough. Can you have a prop manager please being a trash bag? If he gags, I will gag. And I will throw up. No, stop. Stop. Mm -hmm. Steven? Yeah, man. Is that my turn? Yeah. I have been with the same girl for 14 years. Yes, you have. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> I had one girlfriend in between. You hear that, Becca? He cheated. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shh, no, I didn't. She does not like her, though. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear her, yo! I was an academic decathlon team and I came an hour late, but I won for the team. Yeah, that's true. It's not. Oh, you didn't win! <laughs> you came an hour late. <laughs> Hold on, what is this? It's pudding. pudding. Oh, cool. it's you pudding. can you gotta put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yes! Heck yes! Pudding slap, bro! <laughs> pudding slaps! Is that my beanie? No. What? It's not. It perfectly has not glazed it. <laughs> my dad was named after a famous uh, novella character that my grandma really liked. <laughs> What's novella? I don't what? know. You think I know the novellas from back then? Soap, soap opera. opera. Yeah, novella is a Hispanic soap opera. Del mundo, de la noche. Vamos a mirar. Isaac y Steven. Yes or no? False. False, it's true. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Tune in next week. We got a bomb message for you. Bye -bye. What's up, Elevate Youth? Can you see my hair? I look like a chia pet. I think that's what they're called, right? Where you like water the person's hair and like hair grows. Uh, also, too, Ariona refuses to cut my hair, and I don't know why. She's a trained professional. She is, uh, I almost said a masseuse. That's the wrong person. <laughs> she is a barber. Um, that's what she did before she was serving Christ. She was cutting hair for Jay-Z and all of them. I'm just kidding. She never did that. But I really want someone to cut my hair. So if you know anybody, please let me know. Um, but... There's also some great news going on. Some of you have already graduated. Some of you are already on your way to the next level in high school, middle school. Ugh. I remember when I was in eighth grade going into high school, I was so scared. But the last cool thing that I was able to do before I left uh, middle school is I did my middle school's speech for graduation. They chose me. But want to know the funny thing though? Okay, so they chose me. I had my speech. I did it the day of, right? I showed them my speech in the morning and they're like, we loved it. But they were firing my favorite teacher. So what did I do? I changed my speech when it came to the actual time. So I did my speech like usual. And at the end I said, I want to thank Mr. Blah, 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 because he was the most amazing teacher. And it's so sad to see a man like this who challenged me to go higher in my education to be fired. And that's how I ended my speech and everyone was quiet and the administration was pissed. But what are you gonna do? I already graduated. Um, but I'm super excited for all of you who are graduating. You're going on to the next level. And I know things may look different, especially with what's going on in our world. We don't know how school's gonna look, but I want you to know that I'm so proud of you. Elevate youth, all of us, Ariona, Janet here, they're the camera crew. We're so proud of you. If they were in this picture right now, they're like both like this right now. They're like, they're losing it. We love you and we're so excited for what God has in store for you. But here's a little promise that God has for you. It says in 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty of left over to share with others. Right now, 
It looks like there's not a, a lot of things in abundance. We can't even find hand sanitizer. And like, we have to believe God that he will generously provide all that we need. You know what? Yes, I'm telling you, believe that. That's God's promise to you right now. Because even when things look small, even when things are scarce, even when things are feel so different, God always gives abundantly. God always gives above all that we can ask, hope for, or even think of. And right now, I want you to know that we're so proud of you. Not only that, but look how much you've accomplished. Even during this time, you graduated. When has anyone in history done school from home, on a computer, without a teacher, without friends? I mean, there's homeschooled kids. Yeah, I mean, you guys have the edge, but for those who weren't used to it, this is all over the world. So great job, you made it this far. You're healthy, you're whole, you're watching this video. Think about it, you're, you're, you're like, you're pretty amazing, if anything. And you know what? I want you to believe that during the season, especially as you've graduated, yes, congratulations, but no, God's gonna, God's gonna provide a whole new season for you. He's gonna provide you great times with your friends again. I'm telling you, it's not the end of the world. God has so much more in store for you. Things will get back to normal more and more, day by day. But just be patient and rely on God. Trust me, I couldn't get through this whole pandemic without God. I've been stressed out a lot. I got like super lonely, super depressed. And I remember I called on God one of these days and I was super just, you know, feeling it. And I just was like, God, I really need you. And you know what? He provided me the most amazing people around me to surround myself with. Because when I get into this funk, I get a little mean. Okay? And I show it around me to people who are around me. You know, people who are close to me. But God sent me amazing people. Like my sister, like Elliot, you know, my family, Ariona, Ariona the camera girl, Hanet, Janet, you know, my team here that we've been filming with, with Kayla, Sarah, Andrea, um, shoot, who else am I forgetting? Anybody? I want to make sure I get them all. George, uh, I got to think, Elijah, Merlin, uh, Joseph, all those people have been around me. And you know what? They've made the most out of the season for me. And I want you to know we can't wait to see you again soon. And honestly, for all of you who are graduating, don't miss out because we have a parade for you coming up and we can't wait for you to come and see us and we can see you and we can congratulate you and it's gonna be amazing. But I have just one final challenge for you, okay? You know what? In school, I was known as a misfit. I wasn't really the greatest kid. My dad and my mom know. I was a really rough kid, especially with my grades. Um, <laughs> they, that was when God really showed them what grace was for me, because um, I wasn't a stellar student, but I believe that I was a misfit, not because I just, you know, was uh, not the greatest listener, not the greatest student, but also too, I can say this, I loved God. Even out of all the stuff I had gone through, I found God and I loved Him. And this is my final challenge to you, this is something that I read years ago at my eighth grade graduation that I want to read to you. My words for it. A misfit is one who's uncomfortable with his or her surroundings and it seems to be disturbingly different than others. And as misfits, one of our greatest discomforts is inconsistency amongst our peers. No matter what happens, we remain full of character and integrity without ceasing, without stopping. Why? Because we realize that this is more than a fad or a trendy term or a t-shirt. This is a lifestyle and it's a commitment to God. And as misfits living under the mandate of Jesus Christ, we do not take our commitments lightly. Our yes is a yes and our no is a no. So say yes to God today. He has so much in store for you. Second Corinthians 9, 8. He has so much in store for you and we can't wait to see what God does in your life. So before we leave, I just wanna pray with you all. Father God, I thank you, Jesus, for just bringing us this far, for allowing us to make it through this pandemic and just to be here, to be congratulated that we've moved on to the next level in our learning and in our growth. I pray, Lord God, that you would bless them, that you would bless us, and that you would help us to make a commitment to say yes to you, no matter what's going on in our life, that we choose to be integrous, we choose to live right, even though we're not perfect, even though we're not, you know, have it all together, I know that you have it all together for me because you died on a cross for me and I pray that we would be better every single day and we're so excited for what you have for us to come in Jesus name we pray amen we love you all congratulations have a good one